What's up everybody, on today's video, I'm gonna show you why before you run your first Facebook ad, before you set up any of your email marketing, you should be setting up post-purchase surveys on your Shopify store. My name is Connor Gross, I ran a seven-figure Amazon brand in the past, sold that back in 2020, and now I'm working on building seven-figure Shopify brands and sharing everything that I learned along the way on this YouTube channel. If you followed along any of the previous videos I've made on this channel, you can tell that I'm a big fan of post-purchase upsells because A, it's the easiest way to drive your average order value, and it doesn't do anything to the conversion rate. But if you were an e-commerce brand, and you're doing under $1 million a year, the biggest thing that you need now is not to increase your average order value or increase your conversion rate. What you need is to go and figure out how to go and get more feedback from the customers who are going on your store to go and convince them to go and buy more from you. And honestly, I think that post-purchase surveys are the easiest way to go and do this. So last month, I signed up for a post-purchase survey app on one of my Shopify stores. I use this app, it's called Grapevine. If you have a Shopify store, just download it right now. It's super cheap. I think it's only like $5 a month. Um, that being said, after I downloaded it, I went on Twitter to ask people what questions to ask and I got a ton of responses from better apps. So if you want and you want to spend a little bit of extra cash and get a little bit more additional features, two that were recommended to me that it's probably worth checking out are also Inquire Labs and No Commerce or KNO Commerce. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but check this out. I started off with just two simple questions. The first one that I asked was, are you shopping for yourself or is this a gift for somebody else? And honestly, I just asked this because it was after the holidays now at this point, and I figured like maybe there's a little bit of holiday runoff, but for the most part, we're selling a product where people are gonna go and buy it for themselves. Turns out over 50% of the people who are buying from us are buying our products as a gift. And this absolutely blew my mind. Why is it such a big deal? Well, because when you think about it, all of our Facebook ads are targeted towards the end user. All of our emails are targeted towards the end user. All the copy on our website is targeted to the person that's going to be physically holding the product, not the person who's buying it. So one of the things that this kind of taught me was that we should be going and changing all of our ads, emails, website copy to reflect more of a gift persona. So we're able to also change a lot of our marketing plan too by targeting holidays that are big gift giving seasons. So that way we can go and double down and triple down on some of the PR initiatives and increase some of our ad spend during those times. And the cool part now is that we can also go and upsell different things. So you can upsell things like gift wrapping paper, special thank you notes, things like that. The second question that I set up was a question that said, was there anything that stopped you from almost purchasing today? And honestly, I wish I set this up months ago because it saved me so much time and energy from being able to figure out what's going on on our site right now. Some of the responses that you'll get will mostly be no. If they bought anyway, right, they're probably gonna go by regardless. But every now and then you'll get a couple of yeses and the responses are worth their weight in gold. Some of them will be simple things like, oh, the shipping cost was too high. Okay, we probably can't really do much about that. But then you'll find occasional nuggets of things like, well, I couldn't apply my discount code at checkout. I wasn't able to go and work through your product page here. Or even things like, I haven't received my last purchase, which is an easy way to go and check up on that customer and send them an extra email and make sure that their order is on their way. I really believe that as soon as you're setting up your store to launch, you should have these things on the back end even before you do post-purchase upsells, because right now the main goal is figuring out how can you sell better products, how can you message and market your product better, not necessarily just get the most out of every customer who hits your site. Now, I will say the two other questions that I'm looking forward to asking over the next couple of months, and maybe I'm gonna test out a couple of different apps to see the best way to do this stuff is, but the next one's going to be, how did you hear about us? I know it's kind of a boring question, but right now I'm trying to figure out the other marketing channels that I can go and invest in. And the second one's going to be, what other products do you wanna see us launching this year? This might also be a little bit of a cheap one just because it's an easy way to go and get good ideas, but customers are typically the best way to get feedback. Even the other week we were talking to, with a customer and they were like, I would love it to see if you had products for babies. And I was like, I've never thought about that in my entire life, but thank you for that suggestion. So maybe we'll be coming out with a baby line soon enough. All in all, this is just a quick little e-commerce tip that I found really useful and I'm implementing on my store today. If you found this useful or if you have other ideas for post-purchase survey questions, comment them down below. And if you wanna see more content like this, give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep on creating this kind of stuff.